Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Bulletinfire12 and welcome to some Call of Duty 4 and a brand new video. It feels good to get back into the swing of things again and make a brand new video for the channel. Now the topic I'm going to talk about in today's video is a bit old now, but I still want to go ahead and make a video on this topic anyway, which is supply drops in Modern Warfare Remastered. Now I was very disappointed to hear this news that supply drops were going to be coming into Modern Warfare Remastered, and I'm sure a lot of us were. Because if we think about how great COD 4 was, it was a game that changed the franchise. And then they announced they were going to make a remastered version of this game. A lot of us got really excited, because a lot of us are probably fed up with the futuristic stuff that COD has now become. So we could go back to the past, boots on the ground, etc, etc. Even though we have to buy a special version of Infinite Warfare. But then they decided to put supply drops in the game, which is the kind of stuff nowadays that we just don't want to see anymore. Supply drops aren't a very good subject to talk with people, they've got a very negative thing about them. Now, it was very obvious to me why they've done this. It was because the Infinite Warfare sales were down so low to what they were in the past, Activision had to stop and think to themselves, okay, we're not making that much money, with Infinite Warfare, and even with Modern Warfare Remastered being bundled in on some of our special copies of the game, we really need to think about this for a second. We're losing out on money. What are we going to do? What makes us money these days? Oh yeah, supply drops! That thing that we started putting in in Advanced Warfare, that has now been in every COD ever since then, it's made them so much money. I mean, the Advanced Warfare... Advanced Supply Drop sales made them more money than the actual Advanced Warfare game sales. And ever since then, they've been in every single game. And Activision just can't resist. They just have to put it in the game, because they know it makes them money. And this is a bit of a big problem with COD now, it's supply drops. This definitely says to me that they don't care about the game anymore. It's literally just about making the most money. In the past, we used to have such great COD games that would make them loads of money, and we'd have a great game to play. But now, it's just literally average, not very good games that still make them lots of money. And that's all they seem to care about these days. If they just made Modern Warfare Remastered separate, that would get them a lot of money. I know that would. But to me, I don't think that will happen now, ever since they put supply drops in the game. They might do. After... You know, Infinite Warfare has finished its life cycle. Maybe they might make Modern Warfare Remastered separate, but ever since they announced supply drops in the game, I think the chance of that happening has just gone down a lot more to what I'd hoped it would be. And if they made games that were really good, like World of War or Modern Warfare 2, that would make them a lot of money as well, because they'd be really good games like the what we had in the past. The sales for Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare 3 were millions. They were so high compared to what the sales are now. They've gone down so much recently and I think it's just because of the futuristic stuff and the new types of things like supply drops that fans just don't want to see. It's very sad really seeing this kind of stuff happen. This is a problem now, because with this new stuff that's been added into Modern Warfare Remastered, such as the supply drops and some other stuff that got added in, which I'll talk about in a minute, it just doesn't feel like COD 4 anymore. It's literally a new type of COD game, which just has stuff from COD 4 in it now. It's almost like COD 4 Modern Warfare Remastered 2.0, or something like that, I don't know. But it just doesn't feel like the original COD 4, but remastered anymore now. Just because they just keep adding stuff in that we don't really want to see, like supply drops. Now, I will say, the supply drops are just cosmetic only. For now, anyway. That's what I'm wondering. How long is it going to be cosmetic only before they decide, 
you know what, I think it's time to start adding in supply drop weapons like they've done in the past. Black Ops 3 is a great example of this. Black Ops 3 didn't have supply drops to start with, or did they? I can't remember. No, I think they were cosmetic only to start with, but then they put supply drops weapons in the game, even though they said at the start that they weren't going to do that. I remember now. Yeah, they were just cosmetic only to start with, but then it was inevitable they put supply drops weapons in the game. Now, I do believe that it's still cosmetic only for Modern Warfare Remastered at this moment in time, but it might just happen just because it's happened in the past, it could easily happen again. I have heard some leaks about some Modern Warfare 2 and maybe some Modern Warfare 3 weapons being added into Modern Warfare Remastered, but hopefully it will just stay cosmetic only because it's just going to be an endless cycle where this thing just happens over and over again. With COD games now, they'll say, oh yeah, it's going to be cosmetic only, but we all know. They'll just add weapons down the line at some point. That's just how they make their money these days. Raven Software did say that they would try their best to keep it cosmetic only. I really hope they keep to their promise on that. Because with these leaks of Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3 weapons being added to the game, it's just stuff I don't like. I just don't like this idea that they can just do this now. I just want to see the games be what they were in the past. Because that's when COD was really good, in my opinion. As well as supply drops being added into the game, there was some other stuff as well that got added in in the same update, such as new camos, some new game modes, character customization is now there, weapon kits, I think there's some other stuff as well. Now I don't mind some of these new changes, such as the game modes, I'm fine with that, but I do think there are some changes which don't really need to be there. Because the trouble is, if you keep adding in all this new types of stuff, yeah it adds new content to the game, but it doesn't really feel like COD 4 anymore. It's basically a brand new COD game that looks like COD 4, but there's new stuff in there. But unfortunately there's nothing we can do about this. This is what Activision clearly wants to do with their game, and this is just what COD is now. Supply drops are something that I think is just going to be in every single COD game from now on. I don't agree with what they're doing, I definitely think COD was a lot better in the past, and the sales kind of proves on that as well back in the Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, and Modern Warfare 3 time, that was the time where the sales were just like sky high. I don't think we'll ever see sales like that again unless they make a game exactly like those three. Right now I don't see it happening, especially with this futuristic stuff. Now I don't think there's been any new uh, supply drop weapons in the game just yet. I might be wrong on that, but I don't think I've seen anything to say that these weapons have been added. It's just leaks at the minute, but I'm sure at some point they're going to get added in, but there's just nothing we can do about it. I'm not a fan of it. Of course, you don't have to buy them. I mean, you could just use your in-game currency for that, or just not use that at all. But obviously, this is what they want to do with their game from now on. It's just add supply drops in, even into remastered games. I definitely think this could be another topic for another video, talking about if remastered COD games are a good idea. I might have to do that at some point. But we'll just have to wait and see what happens for the future of Modern Warfare Remastered. But that's where I'm going to wrap up this video now. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you support the idea for supply drops being put into Modern Warfare Remastered? Or... Are you against it? Let me know about that in the comment section below. And that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. So thank you all very much for watching this video. And if you've liked it, remember to leave a like rating and subscribe if you are new. But for now, it is goodbye from me. I shall see all of you guys very soon with my next video. So take care guys, and goodbye.